weren't supposed to relieve me. I know, but I felt like taking a shift. Catchy one-liner to keep you engaged. Everyone in this movie is the same character. I'm going to present this video a little bit like one of those Rick Lax videos. You may have seen those before. I'm going to ask you a dumb question like, think of your age, and then make you walk down some paths until you start thinking of something new. And then I'll magically reveal that I was able to read your mind. Why am I doing this? Because I want you to share this video on whatever platform you have. And if I have to earn your share, then so be it. How old are you? Remember that number. Write it down if there's a chance you'll forget. I'm going to do a cosmic experiment with it. It's going to involve memes, so that should keep you awake. So. There's a predefined tactic that me and Rick Lax use, as they say there's nothing new under the sun. For those of you who wish to go down that rabbit hole, it's outlined here. By the way, there's a shit ton of eggs down every rabbit hole, because rabbits totally lay eggs. Anyway, the matrix. Let's start here. Now, be honest. If at any point you thought that this guy was Mr. Anderson, you're not alone. A lot of people thought that. And not for like some Mandela effect reason, but just because he says it a bunch. The agent is actually a Smith, and this guy is Thomas Anderson. Or is he Neo? I do think the general consensus is that they are the same person, not at all mind-blowing, super obvious, but if that's not your opinion, tell me. For this, we're going to pretend that they are not the same person. We're going to pretend that it's binary, and he's either or. One is the real him, and as a binary opposite, one is the dream version. First perspective. Mr. Anderson was dreaming that he is Neo, waking up for work at his dead-end computer science job. He's awake, so he's Mr. Anderson. Second perspective. Anderson endures the terror of some robot spy, read Messenger, crawling into his belly, then awakens as Neo. I guess this is the real world, so Thomas Anderson was the dream. Is the answer super simple in your mind? Or is it super complex? Or is there a third option? The upshot is we're still asking the wrong question. Is Neo real and Anderson is the dream? Or is Anderson real and Neo is the dream? Or are they both equally valid? Three options seems to be appropriate, seeing as how we are three-dimensional beings in a cosmic matrix. Simple, you say. Both are him. Neither is a dream. He just thinks he's dreaming because he keeps experiencing some surreal crap. And I'm like, okay, let's do an experiment. AKA watch a surreal movie that we all remember, hopefully with no Mandela effects. When he wakes up in a pod in a battery station in the sky, he's really waking up that time. That time for real, you'll say to me. So Neo and Anderson are both real, neither are dreams, but actually both are dreams. I'm still stuck on that Inception shit, which is a good movie. Go watch it. We made it for you. It might help explain all of this. And anyway, now that he wakes up in this sci-fi reality, the third perspective, three, he wakes up with plugs in his body and a believably malevolent enemy who doesn't just kill him when he has the chance, question mark. If you accept this, you believe that he will never again have to wake up into another level and you will preoccupy yourself with managing the terror that is the machine. Sweet. So that's it. Case closed. One movie. Now here's a Rick trick. Share this video if the following applies to you. Mm. You saw the other two movies and you thought they were crazy, so you rejected them. You probably don't even remember them. I assure you, you're not alone in that. I, myself, don't actually remember the other two movies. Share this. That is the sound of inevitability. Oh, you're still here. For whatever reason, you've continued watching both the Matrix movies as well as this one. Okay, let's look for eggs further down the rabbit hole. Ever since the beginning of humanity, we have sought to communicate as effectively as possible with our surroundings. We had cave drawings, songs and dances, pottery, then finally written language and written quotes, poetry, novels, then photographs, movies, memes, well, you get the idea. So we have all these tools to communicate. What is it we're trying to say? What questions are these messages trying to answer? Now, I'm going to explicitly state the question later in this video. And if it's at least interesting, then uh, subscribe. So back into the matrix. There's a super obvious good guy and a super obvious bad guy, right? Well, perhaps not. If you watch closely, you see that the robot breaking onto the ship is just as effective at killing the protagonist as Morpheus is in the dojo. 
what kind of teacher kills their student. Morpheus, I might know, literally means shapeshifter. Vader in German means father. His name is literally Darth Father. And while you think the bad guy's gonna kill the good guy, he's not. He's just communicating. Anyway, much like Anakin, it's fear that drives Neo's every waking moment on his road to self-discovery. How will he manage his terror? How will you? I'm sure you have something you're afraid of too. Bubbling just beneath the surface, but always present. Like a splinter in your mind. I'm just here to remind you that Morpheus, Mr. Anderson, Mr. Smith, the robots, they're not gonna kill you. It shouldn't be scary. I will destroy humans. <laughs> no, I take it back. <laughs> the enemy in every scene has the opportunity to kill the protagonist, but gives them just enough to survive because they are teachers, not enemies, but messengers. Don't hate me, Trinity. I'm just a messenger. Running cosmic experiments on themselves. And that works backwards through the dream layers, as Inception puts it. When Mr. Smith is firing Neo, oops, when Mr. Smith is firing at Neo, and they both run out of ammo at the exact same time, that's just coincidence, right? Could he used Matrix magic and just reloaded. Or maybe he isn't here to kill Neo. He is Neo, just with a different perspective. What were you doing? So why do you think he misses all the time? Is he just a stormtrooper? Are all the baddies in this movie stormtroopers? Just really bad at killing? Or is he supposed to not kill in order to progress the plot? Like the actors who played the stormtroopers. Do we have a deal, Mr. Raiden? I don't want to be rich. You know, someone important. Like an actor. Coincidence? Maybe. But I assert that it is intentional and fully explains why you don't have to dodge bullets. This scene is actually quite interesting. It's what were you doing? kind of like someone's waking up he doesn't know. No way. from their computer science job, confused about whether it was a dream or not. So they're trying to kill him? I think they're trying to save him. Anyway, back another step, you can see that this guy, Cypher the Messenger, who wants to be an actor, was probably at some point under the impression that he was the one. Got to think, maybe I'm the dragon boy, and I just don't know it yet. And now he's planning on sabotaging Neo's awakening, either as a fully self-aware cosmic experiment, or because he actually views Morpheus as the enemy and wants to manage his own terror. After all, Morpheus did take him out of the Matrix and he wants to go back in and forget everything. That's sort of a separate road from the one that the one is supposed to take. But who's to say which road is correct? And are there only two? So we have the machine, which is Morpheus, and the actor, and Mr. Smith, and Cypher the messenger, who are all the same and not enemies. Do you know what I'm talking about? If not, perhaps you're hung up on bad versus good. From my point of view, the Jedi are evil! You still don't think this is Mr. Anderson? That's fair, actually. There's a lot of research on why people think in binaries like that. Us versus them. Study up on terror management theory on your own time. So I have to assume that I haven't convinced you that Mr. Anderson is Mr. Smith. Maybe you need to watch more movies or see some other miracle for that. But think that I haven't even convinced you that this was all just his dream. Neo the Hacker, Mr. Anderson the computer science guy, and bald baby in the bathwater. Doesn't it make sense he could wake up one more time and sort of inception out of one more dream? You may say, slow your roll there, buckaroo. It specifically shows him going to sleep and waking up there so many times that there's no reason to believe that there's some extra layer. And if you still think that, good. After all, that number that I had you think of? Yeah, that's how many years you've been waking up in the same layer of the matrix. Well, hopefully that helped open your eyes a little bit. If this was mind-blowing, or at least mind-flicking, give it some love. If this strikes you as unoriginal, just another Andy Weir poem, the eggs don't lead anywhere, they weren't all the same character, there's nothing new. Then maybe instead of giving you answers, I should be giving you questions. From my perspective, every art form seeks to answer this. Who are we? I'm not. Well, go ahead and leave a comment. Discuss amongst yourselves cordially. Remember the golden rule. I want to hear from everyone. You, your family, your friends, your neighbors. For more cool videos and to find out the cosmic experiments that I'm running, 
hit subscribe and click the bell or whatever people do. All right. So until we meet again, unplugging for now.